Huya, a form of release, an expression of mind over matter, of attitude and mental self-regulation. It has many meanings, but these three are among the most common. Yes, I can do it. Right on. And you're a fucking cocksucker. Bud's training consists of approximately six months of field training divided into three phases. Basic conditioning phase. Seals are taught to rely on themselves and the presence of others. Threat. You can inconvenience others and hurt yourself. Combat diving phase. Seals are taught to rely on themselves and their dive buddy. Threat. You can get your buddy kicked out of training or killed. Land warfare. Seals are taught to rely on their team to produce nearly impossible results. Threat. You can kill the entire class. Ready to lead, ready to follow, never quit. Do SEAL candidates ever quit? Yes, of course they do. Upwards of 70% of them. First phase weeds out a lot of guys for a lot of reasons. But at the core of the matter, it's because of their inability to see past or override their personal preferences and desire for immediate comfort. Do fathers ever quit? Yes. And I don't just mean that they walk away. I've heard the expression, once a father, always a father. But I've come across many dads who have thrown in the towel. It just doesn't look like quitting. My definition of a father is someone who is there for his children. Someone who spends a certain amount of time doing homework, having fun, and offering advice. By that definition, a father who chooses to work too much or to spend the majority of his time hanging out with his friends or at the bar instead of spending time with his children is not really acting like a father. Has he quit? No, not officially. However, at his core, he quits every time he allows his personal preference and desire for immediate comfort to take him out of the game. Any father reading this knows what I'm talking about. What about the father who is home all the time, but would rather binge-watch television shows than play a game or go for a hike or a surf? Has he quit? No one's probably going to call him out on it, but he has. Instead of being there, he's just there. This is important, because in SEAL training, when a candidate quits, he is removed from training so that he can no longer do any damage to himself or the class. However, when a father quits, he'll likely still be present in his children's lives and can inflict harm, particularly if he ignores his kids or damages their self-esteem and confidence by being emotionally removed from them. The good news? If you've stepped out, of SEAL training or of fatherhood, you can just turn back around and step up. Both offer second chances. There's an award given in SEAL training that's called First Time Every Time. It's given to guys who went all the way through training without failing anything. There's also an award called Fire in the Gut that usually goes to the guy who had the toughest time but made it through anyway. Because of the dynamic and random nature of SEAL training, very few guys earn this award. However, at graduation, they receive no special recognition for never having failed a single evolution. Nothing. They get the same graduation certificate as the rest of us. We all trip on our own dicks from time to time. It's not about perfection. It's about learning from our mistakes and picking ourselves up when we fall down. Never quitting is about always trying again. And this book isn't about a group of guys who flawlessly executed fatherhood. I found the books that contain only flawless execution to be bullshit. It's about the dudes who had their share of failures and are sharing the best of what they got. Captain Smith covered a lot of ground in a short amount of time. But one thing that has always stuck with me was his explanation about how each facet of our training was designed not just to build us as individuals, but to assess and build our ability to function as a team. Over the years, I've come to think of SEAL operations and parenting as evolving in a similar way, as a series of progressive phases that continuously increase in both complexity and consequence. The demands of fatherhood change over the course of our children's lives, from the very basic to the very complex, and a family's ability to weather those changes comes in large part through its capacity to work as a unit. In the end, the ability of SEALs and parents to dominate is determined by our collective training, communication, and overall desire to achieve.